When parents were horrified to discover they'd given their baby an overdose, they tried to recover for the emotional distress they suffered in Huggins v. Long's Drug Stores, California. Two-month-old Cody Huggins had an ear infection. His doctor prescribed the antibiotic Seclor to be administered every eight hours in a dose of 2.5 cc's, or half a teaspoon. The pharmacist at Long's Drug Store accidentally wrote the dosing instructions as 2.5 teaspoons, five times the correct dose. Cody's mom, Barbie Huggins, gave Cody his medication that night. The next afternoon, he was lethargic and unresponsive. Barbie's mother called her that evening to report that another pharmacy had discovered the first pharmacist's dosage mistake. Barbie and Cody's dad, Robert, both got very upset to learn that they'd unwittingly given their son an overdose. The Hugginses sued Long's Drug Stores for negligent infliction of emotional distress. The trial court held that the Hugginses couldn't recover as direct victims of the pharmacy's negligence because Long's only owed a duty of care to Cody, not his parents. It granted Long's summary judgment. The appeals court disagreed, finding that a pharmacist who fills a prescription for an infant, knowing it will be administered by closely related caregivers, automatically assumes a limited duty to those caregivers. It held that this duty is violated if a pharmacist negligently fills a prescription and the caregiver administers the medication according to incorrect instructions, resulting in serious injury to the patient and emotional distress to the caregiver. The court reversed the rejection of the Huggins's claim to be direct victims. Long's appealed to the California Supreme Court.